Hey Wanderlusters, I'm Drive by Andy and this is my channel for travelers and travelers at heart. I spent the night last night at uh, this park in Mead, uh, Mead, Kansas. Just warming up the rig right now. It was windy last night. It was, uh, there was dust everywhere. It was a crazy night. I was a little worried for my life. As you can see, that big branch right there was just dangling in the wind because it's just hung up there. Um, but I made it through the night. It was actually a pretty good night of sleep. Uh, the city cop was through here a couple times. I wasn't even sure if I could stay here or not. Uh, I got this off freecampsites.net again. And the only real indication is this little blue sign. Sorry about the sun. No electrical hookups. But it doesn't say anything about uh, how long you can stay or anything like that. So I just parked here. Um, the last time I noticed the cop roll through was about 10.30 and he didn't, he rolled right by me and didn't stop. So I figured that must mean I'm okay here. If I wasn't allowed, he would have kicked me out. So went to bed about uh, 11. And it's supposed to be really windy again today. So it's only eight o'clock. I am up showered and ready to go because I don't want to drive if it's going to be 30, 35 mile an hour winds again. I'm probably going to hit some anyways. I think it's supposed to get worse the farther east I go. But we're going to try. I'm going to try to get through this uh, as quick as I can. And uh, that's the way it's going to roll. Because yesterday I was driving in the wind and it was kicking me all over the place. It got even worse once I got parked here, but uh, it was bad, so I was happy to be parked for the night. And we're about ready to hit the road. I think we're gonna go to uh, Pratt, Kansas today, which is about 100 miles away. Um, since I am taking off so early in the morning, I don't know if, uh, if I'm still gonna do Pratt, Kansas, or if I'm gonna get there and uh, continue on later tonight. It depends on how the wind's going, really. I need to get to civilization. That's what I've decided. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of done with uh, these wide open spaces. They're nice, I like them, but I'm to the point where I need civilization. I need Walmarts <laughs> and stuff uh, closer together. Just driving so far between distances every day, that's not the style of travel I, I'm really looking for. And uh, right now I'm definitely worn out from that. So I need somewhere where I can drive a little less and park a little more. But uh, this was a great park to stay at, Mead, Kansas. This is the Mead City Park on the east end of town. Let's uh, get on the road, guys. All right, maybe no road quite yet. Um, this has been a problem the last couple times I've started up. I just don't have any oil pressure. Right now the engine is shut back down again, but that's exactly what it looks like. It just stays right down there, way past zero. So we're gonna pop the hood and uh, go check the oil again. You know, it's been looking fine. The oil's been looking good, so I'm getting a little worried about that. Um, I have been doing longer distances lately, so maybe I'm just burning that oil up faster, but I don't think I have a whole lot of oil left in here. That's definitely something I got to do next time I go to a store, get some more oil. But let's check it out, I guess. I gotta get my different dipstick that I keep in the in the uh, cab because that dipstick isn't a dipstick. It's just a cover. So I'm right back. Here's my original dipstick. When I put the new engine in there, I had to uh, change my dipstick tube, and I put a new mark on there. And see, the oil's right where it needs to be. My mark is there. It's a little low but I should have pressure. Which 
check it again, but I just I don't know what's going on with this thing. So that might end up being an issue. It's right right where it needs to be. So I put some more oil in there and uh, take a look. Still, no reading. So I don't know what to do about that. I've done everything I can do here with what I've got. Maybe instead of uh, driving out of town, I'll drive back into town to a gas station and see if my oil pressure goes back up. I'm gonna drive to that gas station, turn it off, check the oil again. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, this is a, uh, usually it comes up by now. This is unusual. So, let's get on the road and figure it out. Right as I pulled into the gas station here, the oil pressure at least started to go up a little bit. So, I'm gonna fill up on gas and then I'm gonna park somewhere over there and check it again, but it's still not high. Usually it's up in the 20s, but we're getting there, at least it's progress. Still freaking me out though. Even more good news. That dipstick that I have to get out every time to check my oil. I forgot that I had it laying on my bike rack when I left. And now I don't have it. The good thing is I noticed that it's gone. I'm going back. Hopefully I can find it. Hopefully I didn't run over it. Hopefully I didn't destroy it. But I think it probably fell off in the road. So that's going to complicate things. But today is not going very well so far. Oil pressure is still low. So, I don't know. Freaking out today, guys. I'm freaking out. I'm pretty sure if it's in the road, everybody's run over it by now. And that means I don't have any way to uh, check my oil anymore. I think I heard it fall when I was driving and I was like, what was that? But I didn't see anything. So I went back and looked at my dash cam footage and saw where it uh, dropped. It's nowhere out there, so it's gone. Something happened to it, but it's, it's gone. When I went back to the park to look for it, uh, the city cop was there and he talked to me. He just talked to me in general. And uh, he said, well, I'll, I'll drive through town and, and see if I find it. If I find it, I'll come back and, and give it to you. So I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna go walk the road myself. So he said, okay. And then he, uh, apparently had to pull somebody over or something. Because he spun around and left and then uh, I walked a ways into town and then uh, came back and looked at the dash cam. And when I found where it was and was about to walk back to it, the cop showed up again and asked if I found it. I said, no, you know, I know it dropped right here. So I said, yeah, somebody probably picked it up already or something. I said, yep. So that's what that is. I lost my dipstick. I'm continuing on. I, uh, this is, it's really gonna become a problem for me. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's already really windy out here really dangerously windy out here. So, I was gonna try to get going, get this done with, and uh, I don't know, I'm bummed. I, <laughs> I am definitely trying to figure out what I'm gonna do now, so. Yeah. Anyways, guys, hey, I'm 
drive by Andy, and I hope I drive by you soon. See you later.